The self-taught data scientist. It's a phrase you're starting to hear more and more of, but what does it even really mean? Like what actually is it? And how can you become a self-taught data scientist or a self-taught data analyst? Well, in today's video, I'll share my story to becoming a self-taught data scientist and give you five actionable courses that you can take today that will help you on this journey. As always, I hope you find this video really helpful in your data journey. And if you feel like it is helpful, please hit subscribe as I'm trying to catch up and become the most subscribed to Avery on YouTube. I'm trying to take Avery Dennison right now and you can see him a little bit away so I can use your help. So it's actually kind of interesting that I even consider myself a self-taught data scientist because I actually have a master's degree, but let me rewind. Many of you know that in 2015, I worked as a chemical lab technician. I wore a white coat, I wore goggles, I wore gloves, and I mixed really dangerous chemicals. And I ran these experiments and these experiments were so long and I didn't love it. While I was there, I met the data scientist on the team and he explained what he did and I was so intrigued. I'd watch his fingers on the keyboard as he made amazing graphs and analysis of the experiments I was making. And he ended up actually quitting and we tried to hire another data scientist for months and months and months and we just, we couldn't find one. So finally I got sick of it and I decided I would become the data scientist. Now I'd taken no data courses, I could only program in MATLAB and I had no idea what I was doing. But over the next few weeks, I checked out tons of books from the library about data and read through every single one. I found every single blog article I could find. I was spending hours. I watched these really old Andrew Ng lectures on machine learning from Stanford. I don't know, just about a week ago, I had my car service. The audio and the video was terrible. And eventually after all this learning, I really started to, to, to do data science for this company. It was awesome. So I was a self-taught data scientist, but was I? I mean, I read all these books and I read all these blogs and watched all these videos. It wasn't really self-taught. I used the resources I had access to, but my resources, they weren't that great. Old dusty textbooks, old fuzzy video lectures. But luckily for you, you don't have to suffer as much as I did on your journey to become a self-taught data scientist because of today's sponsor, Coursera. Coursera is an online course provider with dozens of data science and analytics courses. And here are the top five courses that I would recommend to you if you wanna be a self-taught data scientist or analyst. And by the way, I'll have a link to each of these in the show notes down below. So number one is the Google Data Analytics Certificate. And it seems like everyone's taking this right now. In my mind, this certification carries the most weight with employers. Not only will you be learning, be learning the basics of all things data analytics, but it'll also look good on your resume. And in this eight part course, you'll cover things like spreadsheets, SQL, R, Tableau, and even get the chance to do a capstone project at the end. It is designed to take around six months and is 100% self-paced. So you're free to go as fast or as slow as you want. This is the one certification that I've seen people with no college degree land jobs with. So it's definitely worth checking out. And if you want something a little bit more specific, course number two might be for you, which is data visualization with Tableau. Now I love Tableau. In my mind, Tableau is the best ROI return on investment that you can have when you're starting your Jada journey. Why? Because Tableau is just so easy to learn and you can do so much with it. So my advice is actually get really good at Tableau. Data visualization is such an underrated skill and getting good at it looks so impressive on your resume and doesn't take all that much time. By the end of this course, you'll be able to make powerful visualizations, reports, and dashboards that help business people make important decisions. But if you want something a little bit more coding heavy, try course number three. That is data science fundamentals with Python and SQL specialization. SQL and Python are going to be your bread and butter in your data journey. So the more comfortable you feel with these, the better. They're going to be required for nearly every job that you apply for. And this one's actually offered by IBM, who is a trusted brand name in the space. So by the end, you'll feel comfortable working with Python libraries such as Pandas, NumPy, and also feel confident with SQL, select, filtering, and join statements. Honestly, you can never master all of Python and you can never master all of SQL. So it's always good to get the foundations and just keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. And now that you've done those basic courses, let's move to something a little bit more applied, and that is applied data science. This is one that is actually from the University of Michigan, which is another great program. And I love the fact that they use the word applied. It's important to learn the basics, of course, but you'll never retain them in your head unless you start to actually use them. And in this course, you'll start to flex your analyst muscles and practice what you've been learning. You'll be doing more real world, realistic exercises, which cements that learning in your brain and gives you confidence that you can become a data scientist. Like I said, you haven't truly learned something until you have used it. And the last course I wanna talk about is a little bit more advanced, but it could really help you stand out. And that is machine learning engineering 
for production. ML ops, basically. ML machine learning ops operations. Once again, a caveat, this one is really important, only important if you're trying to become a data scientist. Data analyst, you're not doing so much with ML in general. So I'm recommending this one because ML ops is becoming bigger and bigger and a hotter and hotter topic. And it's really like a current buzzword right now in the data space. And with that comes a large demand for that skill set. And honestly, there's not a lot of people that have that skill set. So there's kind of like a, a people gap that you can fill. There's an opportunity for you to come in, develop these ML ops skills, and find great high paying jobs quickly and efficient. So this could be a great opportunity for you to learn something that launches your career. There you have it, five courses from Coursera that you can take today that will help you on your data journey to become a self-taught data analyst or self-taught data scientist. I'll have links to all of those courses down below. If you wanna continue your data learning, I suggest with my, maybe one of these two videos right here. See you guys later, bye.